Welcome to our live training session number 32. We're going to be tuning a naturally aspirated Acura RSX using Honda Decay Pro. Let's jump into some details about the vehicle. We're going to find it has a TSX bottom end that's been built with forged internals, has 10 to 1 compression pistons. Now the bottom end is built in anticipation of going force induction, however we're going to be tuning it in its naturally aspirated state right now. It has a K20A2 or the RSX Type S cylinder head, it has the 06 plus TSX cams, a 50 degree VTC gear, an RBC intake manifold, and a stock throttle body. Now on the exhaust side of things, we have a Skunk 2 race header, an NVIDIA Q300 exhaust, it also has a Password JDM intake, and it has RDX 410cc injectors, a Walboro 255 fuel pump, and a return style fuel system. So it's pretty basic in modifications. We're gonna be tuning it on 93 octane, again using Honda Decay Pro. So now we cover all the details of the vehicle, let's jump into our live training session so we can get started creating our base calibration and getting our engine fired up. Welcome to our live training session here with our K24 swapped Acura RSX. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle, so let's jump into our K-Manager software so we can begin creating our base calibration file to start our tuning process. So moving into our K-Manager software in the upper left hand corner here, we're going to find we have a new calibration tab. This is going to be what we select to start with a calibration to begin our process. So we'll go here to new calibration. It's going to be filtering down the calibration selection by the ECU that we're working with or the vehicle we're working with. Right now it's going to show here RSX type S, P or B, and that's actually what we have for this application. We have other choices, but again, this is going to be the most relevant for what we're working with. So we're going to select our first choice. Then looking down our calibration list here, we have a whole bunch of calibrations we can choose from. Um, we'll find there's going to be some naturally aspirated ones, some force induction ones, whether it's going to be supercharged, turbocharged, some have cams in these calibration files. Now I generally don't use those. I actually start with a stock calibration file and modify everything, which is going to be what I show you in this process. Um, we do have here the first two choices, 04 to 05 TSX, that's going to be for um, a 2.4 liter bottom end. Now, in this application, we do have a 2.4 liter bottom end. I'll be showing you how to go through and set up the base calibration for a larger displacement engine. We are not going to be using these first two choices. So I'm going to move down my list here to go into the K20A2 RSX stock.cal. We're going to see it has the stock injectors and it's going to show here K20A2 factor calibration. This is the exact equivalent to the stock ECU calibration. So this is going to what we select here and just go through that process again of modifying everything. So we're going to click OK and now our calibration file here has loaded. Now what we're going to find is we have two different sections that we have to deal with in our calibration. We're going to have a parameter section here and then we have our table section. So when we do our editing changes for fuel, for spark timing, and for variable cam, we're going to be doing it in our, uh, our section here for the tables. When we're going to go and actually work with programming our injectors or a VTEC engagement point or a rev limiters, we're going to be doing it in our parameter section. So we're going to jump into our parameter section first, take care of all the background details, then jump into our table section here and take care of all the details associated with setting up our tables for our tuning process. So let's move in here to our, our parameter. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.